With Dune 2 in only a few months, our eagerly anticipated trip back to Iraqis is soon upon us. Prior to the strikes, we had anticipated seeing the sequel in November 2023, but the cast would not have been able to promote the film. Denis Villeneuve, the director, has assured everyone that the sequel would be well worth the prolonged wait. In December 2023, he asserted during a press conference that Dune Part 2 is much better than Part 1. Something more vibrant is present in it. A connection exists with the characters. With Part 2, I was able to achieve a level of intensity and quality of emotions that I wasn't able to achieve in Part 1, the actor said. While I wouldn't say the movie is flawless, I was far happier with Part 2 than I was with Part 1. I am really excited to show it to the movie agoras and fans. Like we needed more reason to be excited. Here's all you need to know about Dune, Part 2 as we wait for it to come. Dune 2 release date, when can we expect to see Dune Part 2? As previously stated, on March 1, 2024, Dune Part 2 will now be released in theaters. The sequel was supposed to be released on November 3, 2023, but because of the strikes, it was put back to March 15, 2024, and then it was brought forward two weeks to its present date. The sequel will have an exclusive theater release in the US as opposed to a day-by-day -day streaming release, unlike the original film, which debuted on HBO's Max streaming service the same day it opened in US theaters. On July 18, 2022, the sequel's filming got underway. It was filmed in Budapest, Abu Dhabi, Jordan, and Italy. December 2022 marked the end of the filming. Dune 2 trailer. On May 3, 2023, the first trailer for Dune, Part 2 was published, building anticipation for the release of the sequel the following year. Check out the trailer below link is in the description. A second teaser, which debuted on June 29, 2023, included characters including Emperor Shadamayavi. On December 12, 2023, the third and maybe last trailer for the sequel debuted, showcasing the massive action sequences that it would have. What's better than one sandworm, after all? Naturally, three of them. Dune 2 cast, who's coming back for Dune Part 2. Along with the formal announcement of those returning for the sequel, the news of filming revealed some fresh faces we may expect to see. After finally meeting her at the end of the first film, we knew that Zendaya's Chaney, who plays Paul Atreides in the second film, would play a bigger part. Timothy Chalamet returns as Paul Atreides. In an interview with Empire, Villeneuve clarified that Chani and Paul Atreides' relationship is one of the film's primary themes. At the very core is a love story between Paul and Chani, he stated. How Paul will win her over, how she'll let him into her heart, and how they'll work together to discover a method to break the Harkon and hold on Chani's world. The film is far more sentimental. He has the power to change things, but he knows that if he does so, it will create an astronomical amount of violence and he will become a kind of dictator, the filmmaker hinted at Paul's path. The weight on his shoulders is to figure out how to escape that dire destiny. In the sequel, it appears that Rebecca Ferguson will play a more significant part as Paul's mother, Lady Jessica. Lady Jessica kind of disappears in the second part of the book, and I made sure as I was writing the screenplay to do the opposite. To make sure that she will be active, to bring her back to the front of the story, Villeneuve said to town and country. I am excited for the world to witness Rebecca Ferguson's accomplishments. She doesn't mind traveling a great distance. She is a reliable influence in my life. Returning actors include Dave Bautista as Baron Harkonnen's nephew Glossu Rabin, Javier Bardem as Stilger, and Stellan Skarsgård as the evil Baron Harkonnen. Similar to Zendaya, Bardem is expected to have a larger part in the follow-up, since he disclosed to Vanity Fair that Villeneuve's proposal included an increased role. I have a small role, if that's possible, and if you want to, I'd love for you to play it in the second part of the book, Villeneuve remarked. And I responded, I want to, of course. I don't mind if there's a follow-up film, he reminisced. But because they were eliminated in the previous film, don't expect to see Oscar Isaac reprising his role as Duke Leto Atreides or Babs Alusan Mokun reprising his role as Jamis. Though it's unlikely, book readers will be aware that Jason Momoa may make a cameo as Duncan Idaho later on in the series. It has been announced that Stephen McKinley Henderson's Stufer Hawat and Josh Brolin's Gurney Halleck will both make a comeback in Part 2. In fact, Villeneuve stated that Dune 2 will address a criticism made by viewers of the original film. Gurney Halleck's nine-stringed instrument, the Balisette, will be featured in the sequel. The sequence in which Halleck performs the instrument was cut from the first film, but it will appear in the sequel. In part two, the Gurney song made it. It turned become an odd priority for me. However, Josh Brolin is a poet, and the two of us performed it. It was fantastic. The cast will include a number of fresh faces as well. Part 2 is already announced to include Christopher Walken as Emperor Shadam Ivy, Lee Sedu as Lady Margaret, Florence Pug as Princess Erulan, and Elvis star Austin Butler as Fade Rotha. Chalamet, who has collaborated with Pug twice previously, has already showered Pug's performance with accolades, stating, she's an incredible actor. In the film Dune, she was truly remarkable. She gave the part a sense of seriousness. In late April 2023, the official first image of Pug in the film was unveiled. 
Zendaya's larger presence in the follow-up is evidently another area in which Chalamet expressed praise. She's bringing exactly what she brought to the first one, which was incredible, but in greater abundance, he said. In July 2022, it was revealed that Sauhele Yakob would be joining the cast as Fremen warrior Shishekli. We believe that to be the end. But in January 2023, Tim Blake Nelson was confirmed for a covert position. Dune 2 plot, what will Dune Part 2 be about? We also received the initial storyline outline for the sequel upon its confirmation. This sequel will go into the legendary voyage of Paul Atreides as he sets out on a mission of vengeance against the people who betrayed his family and joins forces with Chani and the Fremen. Facing a choice between the love of his life and the fate of the known universe, he endeavors to prevent a terrible future only he can foresee. About half of Herbert's book was covered in the first film, which concluded with Paul and Lady Jessica being welcomed into the Fremen and heading to Stilger's house. In the sequel, where we're likely to see more of Paul's dreams of his future coming to reality as he leads a revolution against the Empire, it will be them against the Empire because House Atreides has been all but destroyed. Villeneuve said he considered finishing the film when Paul encounters the Fremen, following the time shift in the novel, but ultimately decided that breaking with his first intuition was the appropriate point. Because of Paul's gift for prophecy, the first film featured intriguing glimpses of what lies ahead for the character as he struggles with his ultimate destiny, which may or may not be related to Chani and the Fremen of Arrakis. Villeneuve hinted at the fact that the follow-up will go a little bit deeper into some of these details, referring to Fade Rotha in particular. He compared it to a game of chess. Some new characters will be introduced in the second part. Don't take your conjectures as gospel just yet. Javier Bardem has been hinting that the sequel won't be a simple adaptation, even if you've read the novel. In January 2023, Bodista told Collider that the sequel is so amped up from the first film, in an effort to promote its debut. It's simply that much more intense, political, and ruthless, with so much going on. Additionally, according to costume designer Jacqueline West, the sequel would go into different worlds of Dune. Every world grows larger. It was about making three distinct, visually distinct worlds and going back to the ancient Bene Gesserits, the ones with the clothing that resemble Egyptian mummies, she clarified. I think it's visually stunning, the sets, the cinematography and the concepts. It's time to consider the future as Dune, part 2 prepares to hit theaters. Is a third installment planned? My dream would be to create a trilogy, Villeneuve expressed to Empire. Dune Messiah was written in reaction to the fact that people perceive Paul Atreides as a hero, which is not what he wanted to do. My adaptation is closer to his idea that it's actually a warning. He stated, adding that there are words on paper. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.